Welcome, Gemini, to your mid-June love reading. Let's go ahead and dive in to your divine guidance messages. Uh, this will be a very quick message, and then right after that, we'll go ahead and do your love reading, um, followed by hidden truth messages, okay, from your person. So let's go ahead and see what is coming through and what spirit wants you to focus on or want to know right now. All right, these cards have already been shuffled prior, so let's see. release that is a very big message there we have strength beautiful chariot the magician three major arcanas already and the ace of diamonds yes bottom of the deck we have the queen of swords which is you Let's grab some of these. <laughs> I love these set of cards. Um, it gets better. I mean, that's all we really need to hear right now. Okay, so I feel like with this release card, you are letting go of which no longer serves you with this Queen of Swords energy. This could have been a relationship, job, anything that didn't have your best interest. So it's like, releasing old ways of thinking that could be old patterns or old habits however or a person relationship i feel like you are using this queen of swords when releasing a situation chariot is here which is beautiful because it's all about success this is literally facing fears head on and overcoming a lot of challenges in your life and coming out of it very successfully so with the strength card, this is being pure and strong and courageous, right? I'm getting this feeling with this magician card. It's like you had the power all along, okay? Because the magician is having all the tools, is taking your power back, um, you know, and putting things into action. But first, before doing that, it's releasing and then moving forward to this Ace of Pentacles, but again, I feel like you already had all the tools, already had the power, it was already in you. So there could be a very big awakening or some type of transition that you could be feeling or, you know, to where it's like you're seeing a lot more clearly now within the situation, okay, or within your life in general. Um, the Ace of Pentacles is an opportunity from the universe and I feel like that is what is coming in for you as you continue to thrive in your life, okay? Focusing on you. Uh, it only gets better is very, very clear. So the universe is promising you here with this heart. As you can see, it has band-aids on the heart. Um, that you could only go up from here and i feel that very strongly in your reading gemini it's really beautiful and i love this how you're coming up as the queen of swords male or female this is someone who is very direct logical who cuts through any type of bs strong clear-minded person who sees right through deceit or anyone who is trying to manipulate her okay so this is like an energy I feel as you're cutting through um, any hard times, you're being very true to yourself, loving it. Judgment, an awakening. See, there's an awakening here. It's huge. You could be feeling that pull of change with this judgment card. So again, it's shedding the old and going into the new. And we have this Ace of Pentacles, so new beginnings all for Gemini. All right, Gemini, I'm going to go ahead and leave it, leave it here. As I said, it was a very quick reading, but I feel like Spirit is trying to tell you to release, um, let go, and move forward. And you're so strong. You're pure at heart. You have the magician. You have all the tools, um, all of the power you need to overcome anything that tries to block you here, okay? Um, but let's go ahead and get into your love reading. See you there. Welcome, Gemini, to your love reading. Let's go ahead and get started. If you are new to my channel, um, I am going to use this deck to pull some energies, which is called the AF Tarot deck. And then right after that, we'll do some tarot. At the end of the reading, we're going to do the hidden truth messages from your person, okay, to get more in depth in their feelings. So let's go ahead and jump in and see what is coming in for Gemini. Okay, so we do have the tower and the Queen of Wands energy, okay? All 
And we have the Two of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck is the Two of Wands. And we have the King of Cups in reverse. Some of you could be dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And then let's go ahead and see what tarot messages need to come through. Now just keep in mind this reading may not resonate with every single one of you. So please take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. We have the Four of Swords, the Eight of Wands, the Tower. Okay, so that is the challenge, the Death card, Mutual Energies. Nine of Pentacles, Judgment, Page of Swords, Knight of Swords. Bottom of the deck is the Seven of Cups and the Three of Wands and the Nine of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. Okay, Gemini, so this is a big message for someone here. With this tower here and the tower and the, ch and the challenge, this was a very unexpected change from something that happened in your life that felt like a disruption. This is a very painful e either ending or a very conflicted um, energies here. We do have the Nine of Swords, which is showing worries, anxiety, sleepless nights. This is feeling trapped in the mind. Now, this could have happened in the past, present, or something you're coming out of. But we do have this King of Cups energy here. So I feel like you were dealing with either a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or, or someone carrying this energy where it was very manipulating, selfish energy. This was someone who couldn't take responsibility. This is someone who is resisting change here. The two of wands, I feel is, you know, this is at a crossroads, making a choice. And now, even though this is a love reading, I am getting a, maybe a family member also, um, either a family member or, you know, someone you were close with. The two of rings, um, I'm feeling that this is you juggling a lot, right? going ups and downs with your emotions, going in and out, not sure which direction to take at this time. Seven of Cups is feeling like cloudy judgment as you're moving forward here. But even though there could be some cloudiness, some overthinking with the emotions, this could be you and that other person too. So take what resonates. The Three of Wands energy is making a choice to move forward in the best direction for you, okay? The Four of Swords is taking that time away. This is separation. This is time for yourself to heal from it. Um, I feel like this person is wanting to come back as a second chance, but the mutual energies is it's, the damage is done as we have death. Now, I feel like what you don't see coming, this is very, very important because I'm getting a strong message for a lot of you guys, when this person, or if this person wants to communicate with you, this page of swords is the energy that they could be using for a lot of you to where it's very dishonest, childish, um, impulsive. It's probably something you're not expecting of how they speak or how they're approaching the situation. I feel like if this person is, you know, coming from an unbalanced place or emotional place, they're operating from the swords. And it's not like the king of swords, not like you, okay? This is more of an energy that is very abrupt and dishonest. They're not wanting to take responsibility of their actions. Now that's for some of you, many of you, you probably will never talk to this person again, depending on the damage that was done, right? Because this is a tower moment. So it's something that it's very hard to come up from. Judgment is a big awakening here. I feel like with this Nine of Pentacles, this is feeling a hole within yourself. This is someone who could be newly single or single for a while. However, it's just someone who is feeling whole, independent, and taking care of their own. Um, and as judgments here, it's like an, an awakening, a new found of awareness after this tower moment. Okay. Uh, it doesn't seem like it was a very easy time for a lot of you. It could have been a relationship. Maybe it had, and then, you know, this happened and now you're single because this is all about family, home, and the stability. This could have been a soulmate or something in the past, okay? We do have the Three of Pentacles, so it could possibly for you be a third party situation. Remember to take what resonates, okay? 
Um, yeah, feeling left out in the cold. This also for uh, this also could be a financial matter also, but. What I'm feeling here is that you are going to take the best route that's for you. And I feel like just, I feel compelled to say this, um, the emotions you're feeling, like time will heal, okay? And taking the time to process this information, healing is a lot of patience, time is, you know, you heal, you still get up, you still keep moving. Okay, and I feel like that's what you're doing. But there could be something coming in that already happened with this tower that emotionally just broke you down here. Okay, um, let's see what this person has to say. This is very clear. Towers are all about unexpected, okay? So this is the message that needed to come out for someone. I'm in a committed relationship. Yeah, so this for some of you could have been a third party situation. Very unexpected, where you had no choice to end it. Maybe they're blaming you. You didn't see my tears. And I feel like this is where they're saying, um, regardless if they're in a committed relationship or not, it's like, me, me, look at me with this King of Cups energy. This King of, King of Cups very emotionally manipulative, okay? They're very emotional. Um, they're, you know, especially with this Knight of Swords energy, this is someone who does something, takes action or says something without even thinking of the consequences. So I feel like they're just wanting you to feel sorry for them. And I'm sure you guys saw that, okay. whoever I'm connecting with. I watch your social media. So this also means spying, okay? And I miss being with you. So yes, this was a very hard ending. Again, this could have happened in the past for a lot of you. For some of you are coming out of it. Um, and this is a very hard time, okay? Endings are here and death is here, but also what comes after death is rebirth. This brought a lot of awareness in your life though. This changed, you know, this brought a new found of awareness here with this judgment card. Um, so this would, this is probably the situation, um, that could have, you know, put you on a very spiritual path or into tarot. Okay. Uh, because it was very unexpected. It was hurtful. Like possibly you guys could have been, you know, ghosted from this person or however, it was just a really bad time. Um, and that's where I feel like you're, you're now, you're just like this higher level of consciousness. You're coming up as like. Um, very intuitive now, right? Because you just became resilient after the situation. I'm going to pull some lovers of oracles. I'm just going to pull one card out of these. Oh, and one more thing, the tower, you know, this is about resisting change and hard to let go. Okay. So um, that could be the other person but I feel it's in the process of moving forward, of ending this, okay? Or somebody could already have put this behind them. But I feel like you are operating from a very high level of consciousness. I'm loving really your energy. It's very strong. Um, Gemini I'm connecting with. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. And I think that's for the Nine of Swords energy. Okay. Bottom of the deck, only time will tell. Exactly. So this is like time will heal. Go within. Um, the more that you do that inner work and allowing yourself to cry or to feel like heartbroken, that is why I feel like tears are the best medicine. People say laughter is the best medicine, but I feel like tears is a part of releasing. It's a part of growing. It's a part of releasing and letting go. Okay. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it here for you, Gemini. I hope this did help some of you guys. If it did, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys very soon. God bless.